Welcome to this Tutoring Center video. You can follow us on social media if you'd like to. I will be presenting today. This lesson is on solving a circuit using the Laplace transform. Let's solve this circuit using the Laplace transform. First, let's find the values we need just before the switch is flipped. Those values will be the voltage across the capacitor and the current through the inductor, since those values will be the same immediately after the switch is opened. Just by using Ohm's law, we see that the initial voltage across the capacitor will be 10 volts, and the initial current through the inductor will be 1 amp. Next, we will focus on the circuit after the switch is flipped. We will want to use the Laplace transformations of a capacitor and an inductor that I copied down here. You can find these conversions in your textbook or online, and I recommend having them written down on your own note sheet. Using these Laplace transformations, we will draw the circuit in the Laplace domain after the switch is flipped. Let's plug in the values we found earlier for VC of zero and IL of zero and write a KVL loop equation. We'll collect like terms to isolate this big I. Big I is the current in the frequency domain, or Laplace domain. Our goal is to solve for the current in the frequency domain and then perform an inverse Laplace transform to get the current in the time domain, which is what this problem is asking for. Let's do some algebraic manipulation to make I of S easier to solve. We'll multiply by S over S to get rid of those S's in the denominator. And then let's go ahead and multiply by one half over one half to make the bottom term easier to factor. We can now easily factor, factor the bottom into S plus four times S plus one. And now we can break I of S up into partial fractions. We do the partial fraction decomposition in order to make it easy to do the inverse Laplace transform. We'll solve for A first by multiplying both sides by S plus 4 and plugging in S equals minus 4. This will make the B term go away and isolate the A term. This leaves us with A equals minus one-third. Similarly, for B, we will multiply both sides by S plus one and plug in S equals minus one, making the A term disappear and isolating the B term. This gives us B equals four over three. Now that we have A and B, we can write I of S in a form that is easy to take the inverse Laplace transform of. Looking through a table of Laplace transform pairs, we should find this pair here. This is all we need to find the inverse Laplace transform. Taking the inverse Laplace transform, we find the equation for I in the time domain which is what we wanted. 